live in a world where the perception of strength is important to many people. Uh, so we see it amongst countries. So you see some countries want to uh, project strength. So uh, every once in a while they'll have military parades. And they'll have uh, all their soldiers and the soldiers, you know, step very lively and, and look very smart and then they put all their tanks and their uh, you know nuclear missiles uh, on display. And and a lot of countries play other games of strength. Uh, for example, if something happens in a nearby area, well, maybe this other country will send over jet fighters over the, the other area just to, just to give a little signal that, that we're strong. So we see the projection of strength in uh, our world leaders as well. You know, I read one time that um, uh, one uh, country's uh, president, he insisted that he had to be photographed like this, shaking hands with his right. So open body, shake his hands, and see his face. So the other person that shakes his hand, of course, he's shaking like this. He's like, look over your shoulder. That one's not as strong. And we, we even see this in our interpersonal relationships, right? When you meet someone for business, you have to go up to them and you have to look them in the eye and shake their hands and strong handshake and look them right in the eye. And this is the way of the world. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We'll read from verse 26. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 26. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Verse 27. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put the sh to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Verse 28. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are. Verse 29. That no flesh shall glory in his presence. Sometimes the way that God looks at things is not the same way that we human beings look at things. Because things that we might perceive as strong, in fact, in God's eyes, are very weak, his weakness. And the opposite is true. God sometimes sees that in weakness there is the potential for his strength to be manifested. 
The fact is, we all have weaknesses. 事实上，每一个人都有缺点。We have our physical weaknesses. 我们有身体的弱点。We may have emotional weaknesses. 我们可能情绪上有弱点。Some of us may have relationship weaknesses, financial weaknesses, intellectual weaknesses. 有的人在呃知识上或是在人际关系上会有，或是经济上会有一些弱点。So the issue is not whether or not we have weakness. The issue is what do we do with our weaknesses. So, the important thing is not that we have some kind of weakness, but how do we deal with our weaknesses? Here, the Bible says God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. 这边讲到，神拣选了世上愚拙的，叫那智慧的羞愧；又拣选了那世上软弱的，叫那强壮的也羞愧。Here, of course, Paul is talking about the gospel, that the gospel of Christ is not earthly wisdom. 这边保罗讲到的是神的福音，神的福音不是世界上的知识。And God, in fact, chose、uh, what other people would seem to think would be uneducated people to be His disciples. 神所拣选的是别人。看不起没有知识上的人来传扬他的福音。Right, Jesus chose his disciples, and there were a few fishermen.、Uh, there was a tax collector. 在耶稣的门徒里面，有是渔夫的，有是税吏的。These are people that would have been deemed foolish or weak in the eyes of others. 这是人眼中看为软弱的，是有羞愧的。So God did not choose Jesus did not choose them because of their strengths, but in fact because of their weaknesses. 耶稣不是因为他们强壮来选召他们，而是他们的软弱。It is the same with us. We have not been called to God because we are strong or mighty or powerful. 神选召我们，并不是因为我们强壮、有能力、有智慧。But for some reason, God saw in each of us、uh, some weakness, some area that He thought. Uh, he could use. 但是神看到我们有软弱，他看到我们可以有用的地方。How do most people treat their weaknesses? 那大部分人有软弱的时候都怎么做呢 ？Most people, if they recognize their weakness, they will try and hide their weaknesses from others. 很多人如果知道自己有部分的缺陷，会尽量让别人不发现。They may try and excuse their weaknesses. 可能会为自己的软弱来找借口。Or sometimes we even deny our weakness that we we can't even see the weaknesses that we have. 或是我们根本看不到我们的软弱，我们会否认我们的软弱。But God comes along and says, "No, I choose you. I choose you because of your weakness." 可是神来了，他看到我们说，我选召你，因为你有软弱。God will take what is the weakest part of us. And use it as a means to show His glory, to manifest His glory. 神会拿我们最软弱的地方，然后用这个方法来显出他的荣耀。So Paul said here, not many of you, not many chosen, are wise or powerful. 这边保罗说，那些选召的不是很多尊贵，有很多能力。Not many are noble. The, not many noble people are called. 尊贵的也不多。Because God has a special purpose in choosing those who have weaknesses. 因为神有特别的用意，要选召那些有呃有有软弱的人。And in verse 29, he says that no flesh may glory in His presence. 二十九节说，那些有血气的在神面前不可以自夸。People that have nobility, that have Uh, great worldly power. They already have received their glory. 那些在世界上有尊贵、有知识的人，他们已经得到他们的荣耀了。It is not necessarily glorifying God. 他们并没有荣耀神。So in order to necessarily, in order to necessarily glorify God. The the emphasis must be on God and not the person. So we, for the glory of God, this glory is to be on God, not on the person. So how then do we present our weaknesses before God? So how can we present our weaknesses before God? How can we 
uh, understand our weaknesses and allow God to work through us through our weaknesses. Well, before we can even talk about that, we each individually must recognize our own weaknesses. It is very easy to recognize other people's weaknesses. Well, for some reason, our eyes can focus very easily on, on someone else's uh, problems or uh, poor character or poor judgment. And sometimes it's, sometimes it's easy for us to point out this weakness to, to our fellow brother or sister. And sometimes even worse, sometimes we point out these weaknesses to other people. This is our own weakness. That's our first weakness. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ told us, take the, the log out of your own eye first before you remove the speck from your brother's eye. This is a very true saying. One time I was examining a patient. She had come in, she said, Oh, I have floaters in my eyes. So we dilated her eye and I started looking in her eye. And I looked inside and I saw something moving around. And then I blinked and then it disappeared. So I looked around again, I looked at oh, and then I saw it again. In, in the same position. And I was thinking, wait, how come this this floater is there and then all of a sudden disappears and then I see it again? And then I realized that's my own floater. So then I started looking around and I saw my floater floating in my eye, moving around. And ever, we understand the purpose of this verse. We understand what Jesus means in this verse. But until you start to recognize, oh my goodness, I really do have a floater myself, then you can't really, you, you know, you have to, I, now I have, every time I look at a person's eyes, I have to account for my own floater before I look in their eyes. So same thing with our lives. We have to recognize our own weakness first. We have to account for our own weaknesses first. And that's not necessarily easy to do. I think once a person just stops for a moment and starts to think about their own weaknesses. And if you're really very honest to yourself about your weaknesses, you can start making a checklist of this and this and this and this. Oh, maybe I don't, I don't, didn't speak kind to this person. Oh, maybe I had bad thoughts about this person here. Oh, maybe uh, I, I didn't do what I needed to do for this person. You can come up with a checklist and it's never ending the weaknesses that you can come up with. And this is how Jesus wants us to reflect upon our own shortcomings, upon our own sins. There's only a person that can reflect upon his or her own weaknesses. Only that person then will have a chance to be used by God. So, so a person who is able to first recognize his own weaknesses, we can say, this is the first step to humility. Oh, in Proverbs, uh, Solomon writes that God 
uh, scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. And a humble person is not necessarily a weak person. A humble person is simply a person that recognizes his or her own weaknesses. Because a humble person can actually be a very physically strong person. Uh, there was a there was one time when I was in my residency in psychiatry. Uh, and we uh, where I was rotating in the state psychiatric hospital. So these are patients that have fairly serious psychiatric problems. And so one time we were in the hospital and in the center recreation room there was a very large man that was started to scream. And he picked up chairs and just with one hand he just threw chairs across the recreation room. And turning over the table and very angry. So the resident that was working with me, the psychiatric resident uh, doctor uh, he he he, uh, he he was about five foot five <laughs> <laughs> he was very skinny. And he was old. He is 43, 44 years old. And, and he walked into the recreation room where this man was all upset. Just him. Five foot five. The other guy was at least six foot Six foot one, six foot two, something like that. So he was just himself, one five foot five person, the other guy about six foot six. So all the students and the nurses were kind of watching him go in uh, to this patient. And we watched this resident, this this doctor, go in and just stand in front of the the patient, and then after a few minutes, uh, they both sat down in chairs. And then after a few more minutes, oh, he, they just walked out like nothing happened. So of course, we students were like, what, what happened? What did you do? What did you say? So this, this resident physician, he said, oh, I just talked to him. I told him why he shouldn't do these things and, 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 and that we should just calm down and, and walk out. So the rest of us, so, so the rest of us, wait a minute, don't you, he could have killed you. He could have taken and he could have killed you, you know, because he's so big and strong and you're like this skinny little old guy. So the resident told us, he said, no, that, that won't happen. Uh, it turns out he was he was more than a black belt. I don't know what's above black belt, but he was higher than a black belt in some kind of uh, one of the you know martial arts. So and 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 he said, well, if, and he said, well, what happens if he attacked you? He said, well, if he attacked me, I, I could take care of him. <laughs> this is an example of a very, very strong man who, who has a, a good amount of humility. On the outside, you don't think he's anything, but on the inside, he knows he can defeat someone much stronger and much, much bigger than him. He didn't broadcast it. He didn't go and say, okay, I'm a black belt, I'm going to beat you up, right? He just went and talked to the person and just understood, had that inner strength that he knew that he, he had that strength inside, but he was a humble man. 
谦卑的进去，然后慢慢的跟这个人平心静气。So humble man is can be very strong, but he does not show off his strength. 所以这个谦卑的人可以内心很强壮，不一定要给人家看到。A humble man can be very intelligent, but he does not. Show off his intelligence, his knowledge. This humble person can be a very intelligent person, but he doesn't need to show off his intelligence. A humble man may have great gifts and see visions of God, but he does not boast of those visions. He knows where the grace comes from. It comes from God. This humble person has this vision. He can see God's grace, but he doesn't need to show off his intelligence because he knows that it comes from God. And so anybody can be a humble man in the eyes of God. As long as he first recognizes his own weaknesses. So, so we 每个人在神面前都可以做谦卑的人，所以可可是我们要先知道自己的缺点跟弱点。So we see from many examples in the Bible, examples of people that we other others might deem to be weak on the outside, but actually God could see that there was use for them for Him on the inside. 然后我们在圣经里面也有看到很多的例子，有些人可能看起来很软弱，可是神看到他呃可以使用的地方。We see two. We read two examples. Let's look at book of Exodus chapter three. 我们来看两个例子啊，《使徒行传》Exodus chapter three. 使徒行传的第三章 Exodus chapter three verse eleven. Chapter three is the story of how God called Moses to to lead the people of Israel. 呃，对不起，呃，出埃及记第三章。呃，对不起，是 Exodus chapter three. 出埃及记第三章。Verse eleven. 第十一节。Exodus chapter three is the story of how God called Moses to lead the Israelites. 啊，这边是讲到摩西怎么样，嗯。神怎么叫摩西带领以色列人出埃及 ？And at this point in his life, Moses had lived in the desert, and he was a shepherd. 在摩西这个生命的阶段，他住在旷野里面，只是一个牧羊人。But when God called Moses and and told Moses that he was going to lead the people of Israel, verse eleven, Moses answered God, "Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt?" 所以当神告诉摩西要带领以色列百姓出埃及的时，后十一节，摩西说：“我是什么人，竟然能见法老从以色列人把以色列人从埃及领出去呢 ？”Moses looked upon himself and asked, "Who am I?" 摩西看着自己，问：“我是什么人 ？”He understood his weaknesses. 他完全知道自己的软弱。He understood he's not supposed to lead be a leader of the people of Israel. 他了解他自己不配做以色列人的领导者。But in fact, it was because of this humility that God saw. That he was capable of leading the people. 但是因为他的谦卑，所以神看得到，知道说他配带以色列人出埃及。Because of his humility, God knew that his power and glory could be manifested through Moses. 因为他的谦卑，所以神知道他的荣耀可以借着摩西显彰显出来。Numbers chapter twelve verse three records that Moses was the most humble man on the face of the earth. 民数记那边也讲到，摩西是最谦卑的人。Those are very heady words to describe. What other people would say, here is the leader of the Israelites. So he, he, this person, he talked about, he is the Israelite leader. But in fact, he was the most humble man. But in fact, he was the most humble man. But in this way, God's glory is manifested through him and not on him. So this God's glory is manifested through him and not on him. So if you look through the Bible, we see many examples of these types of situations. We see many examples of these types of situations. God called many different Prophets and and workers who had specific weaknesses that he through whom he could manifest his power. 那在圣经里面也记载了很多的例子，有一些嗯被神拣选的人，都是因为神看到他们的软弱，然后借着他们的软弱把神的荣耀彰显出来。The same holds true for us today. If we are ever going to truly experience the power of God through us, 如果我们真的要嗯借着我们自己来
呃，领受到神的荣耀。We must, we must be able. If we want to see God's power through us, we must be able to、uh, have that humility, recognize our own weaknesses, and have that humility. 我们如果要看到神的荣耀借着我们彰显出来，我们必须要有这个谦卑。So even beyond acknowledging our own weaknesses, Paul also teaches us that we should not only acknowledge the weakness, but actually be happy for having weaknesses. 那保罗也教导我们说，我们不但要了解自己的软弱，而且我们要为自己的软弱来高兴。Well, let's turn to Second Corinthians chapter twelve. 我们来看哥林多后书。Second Corinthians chapter twelve. 哥林多后书的十二章。Second Corinthians chapter twelve, verse ten, verse ten. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and needs and persecutions, all distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 我为基督的缘故，就以软弱、凌辱、极难、逼迫、困苦为可喜乐的，因为我什么时候软弱，什么时候就刚强了。Now this is a higher level of understanding than just acknowledging our weakness. 所以这是更上一层次的，嗯、um, ，超过我们只是了解自己的软弱。The first step is to understand that we are weak, but the second step, the next level, is to have the 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 thought that Paul has here. I am happy with my weaknesses. 那我们第一个层次就是到了解自己的软弱，然后再进一步的，就像保罗这边讲到的，因为自己的软弱而为可喜乐的。He's content with his weaknesses, with all the hardships he has to endure, persecutions, and and distresses. He he's he's happy with it. He lives with it happily. 那他虽然在困苦、逼迫、患难当中，可是他却以这些为可喜乐的。Because Paul understands, when I am weak, I am strong. 因为保罗了解，在他软弱的时候，那时候就刚强了。We cannot understand that through our lives in this world. 我们在这个世界上，我们的生活里面没有办法这样了解。In this world, when I am weak, then I am weak. 在这个世界上，你软弱就是软弱。But in the spiritual world, when I am weak, when I have absolutely nothing left, and I am at my lowest, most humble. That is when the Spirit of God works in us. 但在这属灵世界里面，当你很软弱的时候，你一无所有的时候，在这个神的世界里，你就变为刚强了。Here was a man, Paul, who had every reason to be arrogant and proud. 我们知道保罗他有任何的理由变成一个骄傲的人。He went throughout the entire、uh, Middle East and Asia, preaching the gospel of Christ effectively. He、uh, saw visions of God that that、uh, he described as、uh, just as、uh, so joyful to to have witnessed the, these 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 signs from God. Ah, 亲眼看到神显给他的神迹 Being taken up into heaven to to actually witness with his own with his own spirit. 他亲眼看到神把他带到天堂，然后看到这些意象。All of these things can potentially create a situation in a person where they become spiritually arrogant or spiritually proud. 当这些事情发生在一个人身上的时候，他很容易的在属灵上他就产生了骄傲。Because from a human perspective, we think, "Oh, God loves me so much, and I'm so I'm so great now." 你可能会想，哦，神这么爱我，我实在是太伟大了。But in fact, Paul was the exact opposite. 可是保罗却是完全的相反。And in fact, God provided an additional weakness、uh, upon his body to help him understand. 那更加的，神也让他在身体上有病痛，让他更能够了解这个软弱。In verse seven, we read that Paul、uh, writes, "Lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure." 
。第七节，又恐怕我因所得的启示甚大，就过于至高，所以有一根刺加加在我肉体上。就是撒旦的差役要攻击我，免得我过于自高。Well, he says this twice. He says twice, lest I be exalted above measure. Paul is very clear in understanding why he had this thorn in the flesh. 这边讲到两次，呃，就过于自高。保罗非常的。明白为什么身上会有一根刺。We don't know exactly what this thorn in the flesh was, to Paul. 啊，我们不太清楚说这根刺到底在讲什么。Some people believe it actually was a physical ailment, a physical illness, or a physical disability that Paul had that that、uh, caused him to suffer physically. 那有些人觉得说是他肉体上的一些缺陷让他肉体上有痛苦。And then there is also evidence in the Bible from his own writings that the The、uh, persecutions that he faced、uh, were sometimes physical and, 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 and specifically harsh. 那有些人也是因为他所写的文章，而觉得说可能是他受到了一些逼迫跟患难。Right, he mentioned that metal worker Alexander, and he said he did me great harm. You know, personally did me great harm. 那他有讲到说，哦，亚历山大啊，对他造成的伤害。So whatever this thorn in the flesh was, it,、uh, it, it. Constantly、um, nagged and bothered Paul to the point where he felt like he had to ask God to remove the thorn from him. So, 不管这根刺是什么，可是，在很多情况下，神他就会一直的提醒自己说，啊、uh, ，求神啊、uh, 来帮助他，来把这个刺拿掉。So in verse eight, Paul says, "Concerning this matter, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me." 所以第八节这边讲到说，他为了这个事情求过主，叫这个刺离开我。For for a man like Paul to say that he prayed three times,、uh, it must be pretty remarkable. 所以让一个像保罗这样的人来祷告三次，一定是很不简单的。Oh, because Paul was a man of faith. So if he wrote down in his writings, I pray three times, and God did not take the thorn away, it 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 means something. He means he really prayed to have the thorn taken away. So he says, "I wrote down, 'I prayed for this thing three times, and God did not take the thorn away.' So he really spent a lot of time in prayer." You and I, we we do not have the faith of Paul, right? Ah, you and I, we do not have the faith of Paul, right? We would never dare tell our brother, "Oh, I prayed three times to God, and God did not answer me." We cannot tell our brothers and sisters, "I have prayed three times to God, and God did not answer me." Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is going to look at you and go, "What do you mean you prayed three times? You only prayed three times?" Because your brother is That was a very weighty matter, and he put earnest prayer. He pleaded with God three times, "Please take this thorn away from me." 可是这边保罗写到，他为了这个三次求过主，希望这个刺可以离开他。So for a man of faith, he remember he shook off the the deadly serpents and he faced death multiple, multiple times. Praying three God three times to God was very serious for him. It was a big deal. 所以对他来讲，一个神重要的工人，呃，他祷告三次是已经很不简单了。But the Lord answered him and said, "My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness." 可是神回答他，我的恩典够你用的，因为我的能力是在人的软弱上显得完全。Oh, after Paul heard、uh, God's response, then he understood. 在保罗听到神对他的回答之后，他了解了。Then he said, "Then I gladly boast of my infirmities. I am happy about my weaknesses." 所以他说：“我喜欢，我高兴来夸口我的软弱。” And Paul gives thanks for having the weakness instead of resenting it. He gives thanks. God loves me so much to give me this thorn so that I should not be exalted above what I, I should be. 
，所以他感谢神，他喜乐，他说我感谢神给我这个软弱，给我这个刺。He said, I give thanks that I have this throne in in myself, that instead of me receiving the glory, then the glory goes to our Lord. 我感谢神，让我身上有这根刺，所以这个荣耀可以归在神的名上。And then he realizes what Jesus said: My strength is、uh, my strength is made perfect in weakness. 然后他也了解到神这边说，我的能力是在软弱上显得完全。Only when you are at your weakness is God's power most manifested. 当你在软弱的时候，神的能力就会显得完全。So just like Paul. Was then, we today are also given blessings through our weaknesses. So, 就像保罗那个时候一样，今天我们在软弱上也得到神的福气。好，我们可以有我们自己的软弱、我们自己的软弱的时候。我们我们身上也可能有刺，也有软弱。We may think, oh, God has given me this situation, or I've been put、uh, with these these problems, and and Uh, and and be upset about them. Ah, we might think that God has given us many problems in our lives. But actually, when you understand the situation like Paul understands, sometimes these weaknesses that are placed upon us are actually for our own good. 可是我们像保罗这样来思考的话，有时候我们身上这些困苦、这些患难，呃，是为我们好。Because number one. It prevents us from developing spiritual pride and spiritual arrogance. Ah, because it can prevent us from developing spiritual pride and spiritual arrogance. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Ah, just like we discussed with Paul in verse seven. Around two thirds of the books of, of the New Testament. Ah, he received a very high education, the New Testament, the New Testament. Ah, three fifths of the books are his writing. Paul had been given many, many blessings directly from God and many revelations directly from God. Ah, Paul in God's side directly received many blessings and visions. Ah, so he understood whatever this thorn was, whatever this physical ailment or whatever it was, it was to keep him from becoming proud. So he understands that I have this thorn. No matter what it is, it is to prevent me from being proud. We can see, unfortunately, examples today and in our history where workers of God, because they do not see their weaknesses, they walk away from glorifying God. Ah, we also see many examples in our workers' lives because they do not see their weaknesses, and they walk away. Uh, 没有把这个荣耀归给神。It is, a, it is a, a shame. It is such sadness to see. 啊、uh, ，是非常难过跟不幸的事情。But for recognizing your own weakness, if only you could recognize your own weakness, then you could be like Paul and understand that the glory of God works through you, not because of you. 那也因为我们要来了解自己的软弱跟缺点，我们可以知道说，神的荣耀不是你彰显，而是借着你而彰显。So whatever we do in our own lives for God, whatever it is that God has you do for Him. So, 不管你在你的生活上为神做了什么 ，We want to recognize that sometimes. When we see our own weaknesses, or when we see these thorns placed upon us, it is for our own good. We need to know that sometimes we have these thorns for our own good. Because God said, "My grace is sufficient for you." Because God tells us, "My grace is sufficient for you." How can God's grace not be sufficient for us? God's grace is not sufficient for us. Of course, of course, God's grace is not only sufficient for us; it's more than we could ever ask for. Because God's grace is not sufficient for us. It's more than we could ever. Ask for or deserve. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only sufficient for us, but it's more than we can ask for. So, God's grace is not only
。所以当你有这个刺在身上，你三次的祷告，可是这个刺还没有拿掉。Well, 不一定三次 maybe more. <laughs> If you pray to God, you have this thorn on you. You want God. Perhaps God is also replying to you like He replied to Paul. So, when you pray, but God answers, and your wound is still there, you are the same as God told Paul. There are some things that each of us will have to endure. There are some things that each of us will have to endure. Everybody has different thorns. 每个人都有不一样的刺。Some people may have small thorns. 啊，有的刺可能比较小。Some people may have very, very large, painful thorns. 有的人是很沉痛、很刺痛的刺。But under every circumstance, we we believe that God's grace is there for us. 可是不管在什么环境下，我们相信说神的恩典就是在那里。It is not that God did not love Paul. 并不是神不爱保罗。It's not that God didn't love Paul, so he didn't take the thorn away that was that was that was bothering him, that was that was uh, that was uh, devastating him. 并不是神不爱保罗，所以不愿意把这个伤害他的刺给拿掉。In fact, it was because he loved Paul. Because he knew Paul, he knew if you didn't have this thorn, perhaps you would walk a different path. Because he knew Paul, he knew if he didn't have this thorn, perhaps he would walk a different path. And so God said, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." So God told him, "My grace is sufficient for you." We have to be strong, and we we have to we have to um, uh, be very strong in order to, for God to uh, to to uh, love us or to to use us or to to work through us. Um, we also 会觉得我们自己需要很强壮、很刚强，神才会借着我来做一些事情。It's not necessarily strength. 可是有时候并不是我们的刚强。It's not necessarily um. It's not. It's not necessarily a power thing. Ah, 并不是我们有什么能力。In the book of Zechariah, ah,、uh, when God was talking through Zechariah to the people of Israel. Ah, 在撒加利亚书里面，神借着撒加利亚先知跟百姓说话的时候。God wanted to talk to the tell the people of Israel to rebuild His temple. Ah,、uh, 神要呃、uh, 这些以色列百姓来重建他的圣殿。God said, "Not by might." Nor by power, but by my spirit. 神说，不是借着你的能力，而是借着我的灵。It is not about what we can do individually and physically for God. 啊，所以不是借着我们人有什么样的力量来为神做事。We think we can handle everything on our own. We think we can do things uh on behalf of God. And that's sometimes not necessarily true. Ah, this is not necessarily true. It is sometimes God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us and see how do you do on your own. God may just watch us Uh, then that is when the work of God is manifested when it proceeds. 那这时候就是神的工作开始彰显，开始呃发生的时候。By by the Spirit of God. 啊，是借着神的灵。By our physical might, not by our physical uh will, not by our own human will. 啊，不是借着我们人的能力，或是人的呃思思想。We never know what we face in our lives. Ah, we don't know what our life will be like. So this week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. This week, everybody is sitting here and everyone is healthy. Pleasure in in needs in persecutions. So this Paul also talked about how in the weakness, in the pain, in the suffering, he was happy. All of these things that potentially can be harmful to him, that make him weak, actually make him stronger. Ah, so these things that potentially can be harmful to him, that make him weak, actually make him stronger spiritually. These things that potentially can be harmful to him, that make him weak, actually make him stronger spiritually. These things that potentially can be harmful to him, that make him weak, actually make him stronger spiritually. These things that potentially can be harmful to him, that make him weak
呃，照理来讲会更软弱的事情，反而让他更刚强了。So as long as we have Paul's attitude, as long as we allow God to work within us, then we too can understand this this concept, this this thinking. 所以，我们如果学习保罗在这里的态度，让神借着我们来做事的话，我们也可以有同样的呃呃事呃复兴发生。Sometimes our own weaknesses actually will also help us minister to others. 啊，有时候我们自己的软弱也可以借着软弱来呃呃传传福音给别人。It, it's very hard to appreciate、uh, another person's、uh, situation unless you've been in the situation yourself. 那有时候你自己如果没有碰到的事情，你很难去了解别人的状况。Because it's one thing to be、uh, sympathetic to somebody's problems. 那有时候我们会同情别人身上发生的一些事情。But it, it's very different to be empathetic to a person's problems. 可是我们很难，呃，更难的说去，呃，有用这个同理心啊、呃，把自己放在别人的情况里面。Let's look at Second Corinthians chapter one. 我们再来看哥林多后书的第一。Second Corinthians chapter one. 哥林多后书第一章 Second Corinthians chapter one verse four. 第一章的第四节 Chapter one, chapter one, verse four. 第一章第四节 We'll read from verse three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of comfort, for who comforts us in our tribulation. That we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 第三节，愿颂赞归于我们的主耶稣基督的父神，就是发慈悲的父，赐各样安慰的神。第四节，我们在一切患难中，他就安慰我们，叫我们能用神所赐的安慰去安慰那遭各样患难的人。He talks about how God comforts us. In our own specific、uh, difficulties, in our own tribulation. 嗯，在我们自己的患难跟困苦上。But the purpose of God comforting us is not just that God loves us, but in fact that we may be able to use that. 所以神安慰我们，不是只是安慰我们肉体上的困苦，而是要我们来用这个安慰。And we use that to comfort others who are in trouble. 那我们用这个安慰来去安慰那些遭各样患难的人。God never wastes a trial. 神给我们的这些嗯试炼不是呃就是白白的试炼。Also, every trial, every tribulation that we go through, there's a reason. 我们每次所经过的试炼跟患难都是有原因的。Oh, it's not just for our benefit, and then God comforts us. 啊，并不是只有让我们来得益处，然后神来安慰我们。It is so that we can now understand how to comfort others. In the same way that God comforted us. 呃，是借着这个机会，让我们学习怎么样用神给我们的安慰来安慰那些其他的人。Many of you have heard the English phrase,、uh, "If you could walk a mile in my shoes." 啊，有一个英文的谚语说，如果你可以呃穿我的鞋子走一里路。What does that mean? 这是什么意思呢 ？If you could take someone else's shoes and walk them, or if you could walk a mile in someone else's shoes, what does that mean? 为什么我们要穿别人的鞋子走一里路呢 ？It means everybody has their own path of tribulation that they go through. 这就告诉我们说，我们每个人都有。经过各种不一样呃患难或是有困苦的路。And sometimes, unless you know, unless you have walked that same path in the same shoes as the person who's suffering, it's very difficult for us to be empathetic. 啊，除非说你把自己穿上那个人的鞋子，跟他走一样的路，你很难去了解他所经历的。But here, God tells us that, uh, uh, the, the Paul writes that. God comforts us in specific situations so that we may help to comfort others in those similar situations. 所以保罗这边记载到说，神在我们患难中，他安慰我们，所以我们可以用这样子的安慰去安慰那些遭患难的人。I've said before,、uh, I've been very blessed in my life so far physically, but I, I never understood. I've said before, I never understood、um, when people told me they could not sleep. 
。那我自己嗯、呃，在生活上得到神的很多的福气，嗯、呃，所以我当人家跟我讲说他晚上睡不着的时候，我不能去理会。When patients said that to me, I said, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear that.、Uh, maybe you want to try this medicine. I'm、oh, sorry you can't sleep." 所以当人家跟我讲说他睡不着的时候，我就说，哦，对不起啊、哦，我很难，很很不好，很听到这事情很不好。也许你可以吃一些药。Until the day, until the day when my trial came with my neck pain, and I could not sleep. 一直到有一天，我的脖子开始疼痛，然后我也没有办法去睡觉。And then just a little taste, not even, not even as as serious as you know a lot of people have, just a little taste of of being in pain and not being able to sleep was such a suffering to me. 那对我来讲，只是尝到这个呃脖子痛这个一点点不小不能睡觉的这个滋味，我就已经觉得非常的受苦了。Sometimes God gives us these weaknesses, these trials, so that we can empathize, we can understand what our fellow brothers and sisters go through. 所以有时候神给我们在生活上碰到这小小的困苦，让我们可以去了解，用同理心来对待别人。Because now when I pray, I don't have to. Pray. I'm not just pray. Oh God, please help them sleep. 那现在我祷告的时候，我不会只有说求神，你让他们能够睡觉。Now when I pray, I know. Oh God, please. I know how suffering they must be. Now, when I pray to God, I say, "God, I know how tired they must be. I know how tired they must be. They, they must be tired. How frustrated they must be. They must be tired. 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 Empathize and understand, and, and minister comfort others who need that comforting. Ah, our pain, our difficulty, help us to bring this comfort to those who need it. For Jesus Christ did the same thing for us. Because Jesus also did the same thing for us. We have a high priest who is able to sympathize with everything that we have. Gone through with our weaknesses. Ah, we have a high priest. He is able to sympathize with us and know our sufferings. Hebrews chapter four. Hebrews chapter four. Verse twenty-four. 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 Verse twenty-four.
Our weaknesses sometimes can seem overwhelming. Uh, Whatever trials that God allows to be placed upon us. And that is that is the key understanding. God allows trials to be placed upon us. But if if we allow ourselves to turn to God, then God has the power to take to finish these trials. And God has the power through our weakness to manifest His glory. All we need to do is trust in God. All we need to do is have faith in God. So these trials, these weaknesses that we have, Paul said, in them I am strong. So may the Lord have uh, continued mercy upon us. Our high priest, our Savior loves us. And when we recognize our weaknesses, when we allow God to work through them, indeed his name will be glorified. Let's all sing him number 356.